Let's get him reckless. Nope, stick with it. Stick with it. Oh my god. Talking, so I don't know what. Oh, hey, oh hey. shit. Damn. Fuck. Oh my god. You just got fucked up. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to DOJ. Today we are going to be doing some biking stuff. I'm going to go ahead and take you up to the new apartment I have or the house I have in Los Santos up in the Rockford Hills where me and Bugs pretty much uh, distinguished we were going to live before up there in those two houses. Um, I tried to start this earlier. My game crashed. I did some weird shit. I had to leave game. I came back. My bike was stolen. Cops tried to code five me. I said I just joined. Now that they're arresting this guy because I think they stole my bike. So I'm going to go down there and I'm going to be a witness, you know, starting off strong, straight snitching, straight up off the bat. Um, and we'll go ahead and see exactly what's going on and see if this is even our bike in the first place. I up the street said that he he has his, had his bike stolen and uh, the guy that was riding it shouldn't be riding oh, it. Oh, yeah, that's my bike. Alrighty. This guy going right here. Boy, shoot. This, is, this is Carl. Carl's the guy that was oh, talking to me up the street. Dog. Oh, what's up? Yeah, that, I, just from the side profile, I could tell that that's my bike. <laughs> yeah, so... Why the fuck you did you steal are, my bike? You wanna... Hey, you need to, you need to, come here. You gonna blame me for shooting when you got a motherfucking mask stuff riding on the hey, fucking sand? Hey, 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 all y'all, all y'all quiet down right now. You in the gray shirt, go back over there <laughs> Yo, I'm grabbing you right now. I'm grabbing you and I'm dragging you over here. I'm, I'm grabbing you and I'm dragging you. <laughs> Carl, so you want to press stop right here. the guy that was riding your bike? Yeah, I mean, whoever it was that stole it. I didn't give any permission to ride it, so that, that's my only thing. I'm lucky I got two okay, of the same exact bike. Hey, I'm gonna All right, you can suck yeah. my dick. I was going to mention right. that, but... <laughs> Sir, be, be, uh, be calm now. We got the guy that stole your bike. Well, I'm not going to have this shade, motherfucker so. threatening no to tell me that a whole bunch of gang members are going to kill me, so fuck him. Well, there won't be an issue for that because he's going and he's going away for a little bit. Yeah, well, these are a pesty bunch, I tell you, so... Lock one up and the other 17,000 come out. Yeah, I can imagine that. <laughs> there it is. Anyways, yeah, I'll press charges. Like I said, I'll give you a statement or whatnot. Yeah, let me just grab my, uh, let me just grab my notepad out of my car here and I'll take your statement and you can be on your way. Alright, man. So, yeah, so pretty much I started the game earlier. My voice, in-game voice chat wasn't working. So, I had to restart the game. When I got back, my bike was gone. Clearly, Rich stole it. So, yeah, we're gonna throw him under the bus. We're gonna get him locked up. Uh, simple as that. That's how we do it. But, that might leave action. Alright, sir, so, uh, you said the rest that you of the episode. witnessed so drive. Know. You know, uh, I guess that's westbound down Grove Street. Turn around, drive back behind you, and you notice that it looked like your bike. Well, I mean, originally I was in here having a little bit of issues, so I had to get out, and I came back. I realized my bike was gone. A whole bunch of cops rolled up on me, which made me realize, obviously, someone's looking for the same exact bike I have, which then made me realize someone stole my bike. And as you guys proceeded to walk up to me, I looked behind me, I saw that a bike just passed, then one of your guys just said, oh, I think that was him that just passed, and I reassured you on that fact. And then that's pretty much how we all got to this point, so. Okay, and with the CCTV at that parking lot, back up your story. If they got it, I would assume so. Okay. Yeah, these guys was in the parking lot just hanging yeah. about, trying to get, you know, ready to go out on my ride, and they came walking up. Well, actually, one of them did some weird shit. They ran up on the side of the building, they ran up the ladder, and then the other one came and walked up to me and started talking, so I don't know what... Oh, hey, hey. oh shit, damn! Fuck. Oh my shit. god, you just got fucked get up! <laughs> oh my god! Ground. Damn, that cop got Don't hands. fucking move. <laughs> don't move. Ew. Just get on the ground, time. get on your knees. <laughs> Don't fucking move. Oh my god, he saw that shit coming from a mile away, dude. I didn't. You guys got this. <laughs> Can you make sure he doesn't run away from you? That's time? great. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, we're gonna get him seated. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, Carl, can I uh, continue getting... Yeah, so basically they were just being sketchy as fuck. I, but even earlier in the day, I heard a whole bunch of commotion with cops and shit like that, so... Get away from us. Yo, cuz, that's your bike, cuz? Yeah, no shit, it's my hey, bike. Continue. I found it, How's bro. that? How Guys, grab him and put him in a car. Get him Great. away from here. How was that jaw shot? Come with me. <laughs> right 
Right now, gray shirt, purple shirt. All right, I'm grabbing you. I'm leaving you down here. Hey, put up, can you put him in the back? Uh, so Man, I really have somebody got that video. Let's come, dude. Here, I'm gonna give him a real fucking real medal. That was gangster. <laughs> Alright, we're sitting you in the back of the car. Just dropped his ass. Hardcore. Uh, He's in a say some so, shit. Uh, we'll get Just him booked. FYI, you don't have get to your do bike anymore. Get your bike put a... You know, get, get yeah, your bike back in your possession. Get we'll get him get booked up. Um, if you want to take that one, you can. If you want us to... I'll take you know, mine, somewhere. and you guys can we'll, process it. You guys can fingerprint that shit if you want. I don't care. I'll pick it up in a week. All right, Carl. Uh, can I get your last name too, just for the statement? Uh, Ellison, Carl Ellison. All right, Carl. Um, I do appreciate all your help. Um, I'll get in contact with you about getting your motorcycle back. Uh, I do appreciate it. Um, just be safe out riding. Make sure you know you're keeping a, keeping a good check on your. Uh, you Keep check on your bike. Shut up, dude. Get out of here, motherfucker. God damn it. <laughs> Shit. Pesty. See what I said? Didn't I tell you earlier? Pesty. Pesty, pesty, pesty. Fuck. <laughs> Carl, I understand that. Just, uh... Just take it with a grain of salt. Get on out of here. You'll be fine. And, uh... We'll, we'll take this guy, book him, and... If you ever have any issues with him, just let us know. Alright, man. I appreciate it. Have a yep, good one. Have a good one. Thank you. Have a good day, sir. You too, man. Oh, accidentally opened that. So yeah, that was uh, pretty resourceful. Man, did you guys see how I clocked that guy as he was running away? <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. Oh, I'm not look at all these motherfuckers, dude. Your dog. Oh, I just ran through a stop sign. Some bitch, dude. Please don't get pulled over. I'm the good guy. Anyway, so yeah, it was pretty much a bunch of fuckery uh, from the moment I joined the game, and it, yeah, it just was not good. So, other than that, we got our bike back. Luckily, the cops were able to catch the guy. I gotta get some gas, so we're just gonna go to the Grove Street gas station. And then I want to show you guys the new... Damn, we caught air. Uh, show you guys a new house I got. I uh, was able to pick that up on the live stream if you guys weren't able to come and watch that. Definitely check us out. check it out on Monday. Monday through Friday. Uh, I'm not actually not sure if we're going to be able to do the Monday or Friday live stream. Just because uh, possibly might have to go to Arizona. Other than that, I will let everyone know on Twitter. Let's go ahead and get this gas. Let's get this gas. So yeah, just a nice bike ride even though it's cloudy and probably going to start raining in the next two seconds. No big deal. I like how it's funny because we were hella cool with the cops there, but then... Uh, some shit's gonna pop off with the cops later, probably. I can feel it. The only reason why I say that is because I'm gonna do something stupid and have to run from him. And that's just how it's gonna go. So, we're gonna go have to uh, Rockford Hills right now. There's gonna be so many cops in this area. It's not even funny. Game is acting hella weird. Alright, so yeah, Rockford Hills. Uh, I was able to buy the house um, that we originally saw uh, when me and Bugs were looking around and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, on Monday, when Monday rolls around, or that's when you guys are going to see this video, even though I'm recording it on Sunday, uh, hopefully Bugs will have enough money to go and get, uh, the house himself. That'll be awesome, if that could happen. That way we could both have a nice, uh, start and end location. Hey, it's that motherfucker. I can notice that car from a mile away. At least I got a pistol on me, just in case some shit pops off. At least I think that's him. I wonder if there's any cops near me. I should start it off with some gang shit, straight up. Straight up. Straight up off the bat. I don't know if that's him, though. That has to be, because that window tent is not stuck. Uh, if he gets the green, I'm going to shoot at him when he's driving by. Damn it. No. Oh, I didn't have the fucking pistol active. Son of a bitch. Okay, that cop's pulling out that way. There's so many cops. I don't want to get in trouble. There's a cop right down there, and I was about to shoot my gun. We're gonna follow this guy a little. I wanna show you guys the house, but fuck, he deserves to be shot. Zach's talking all that shit. Looks like the same car back there. I don't know where the fuck he went, but... If we come across him again, we'll, uh... Unload some bullets into his car, because he deserves it. Talking all that shit. 
Even though we technically snitched everyone out, but fuck it. Is that a cop just passing on the highway, blowing his air horn the whole time? Yeah, there it is. Drop the top. Nice, man. Doing that hardcore shit. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and step this up two time to the uh, Rockford Hills. That way I can show you guys the apartment. Not much to see. It's pretty much just like every other apartment. The same as when we looked at it last time. Uh, it's just cool to be able to show you guys, you know, our actual property. We were able to buy it. I had around a little more than two million dollars. And it cost about one point, uh... I think 1.2 or 1.5 or something like that. It wasn't... It was realistic, I guess, if you're talking about these areas. But, uh... Yeah, we had a decent chunk left over, and then I think we did a whole bunch of drug dealing, stuff like that. That's why my numbers are pretty close to a million. Or, yeah, I think it was low. <laughs> They're killing each other. That's when you know the gang shit went wrong, is when they started killing each other. That's great. Um... So yeah, we had, uh, I want to say it was low, low, uh, 2 million, so 1 million, 1.2 or something like that. Uh, so Bug should have enough. If not, we can definitely give him the rest of the money so that way he can purchase his house, and then we'll go ahead and we'll maybe do some minor jobs to, uh, get some money back, or we could start doing some drug operations again. Uh, I took a little bit of a break on drug operations, which was nice, but, uh, we definitely gotta start pumping him. There's a lot more drugs we haven't even had the time to... Uh, manufacture yet because we just need to find the locations. There's still some locations that haven't been discovered, which would be kind of cool if we actually went and tried to find them. Like, I could edit the video a little more, and uh, if we do find the location, I can go ahead and edit out um, where that location actually is, just so that way we can keep it hidden from everyone else and try to be the drug lords. Uh, pretty much a lot of people know where the uh, coke and weed ones at. And I didn't bother hiding it in the video last time because people on the stream already found it, so there was no point to edit out on the video. Half the people would have still known, so... This is the Casa de la Polcat. We'll go ahead and go in here and, uh, check this out. Pretty, pretty snazzy. It looks a lot better on the inside than it actually does on the outside, I'll tell you that shit for a fucking fact, but... Let's go ahead and check it out. So, here's the beautiful inside. I have, uh, people come and clean it every fucking five minutes, that's why it's fucking spotless. Don't mind the bong on the table. Other than that, we got a nice view of uh, the road that 24-7 sits on. So that's pretty cool. Nice view of the city when it's not diluted by a whole bunch of smog and uh, carbon dioxide and all that fun shit. And uh, yeah, other than that, it's pretty uh, f pretty futuristic if you ask me. Not too snabby. We got three floors. You got the bedroom. Uh, one of the cool things I want to show you guys is the office. Uh, the office actually allows you to store items and all that fun shit. Change your clothes to outfits. I believe it's on the last floor, so floor, I'll show you guys that right now. Have them two-time it. A lot of shit I want to do in this episode, so I want to see if I can get to it. Okay, so here's this. So let's go ahead and look at that. So you can invite a player in, just like GTA Online, kind of. Invite a player in, you have your clothes, which is pretty much just the outfits. Uh, you have removing clothes, which is like removing outfits. You can remove objects and deposit objects. So, basically, you could store, um, uh you know, all your drugs and all that stuff, so that way you don't have issues. I don't, I, I could have sworn I had drugs, but how do you go and hmm, let's go back oh, okay, so you would remove it and it would put it back into your inventory. So as you see I was able to put most of the drugs and stuff, so when I did my episode of LS, or the LSPD when we did the police on the stream it wouldn't be me selling drug or having drugs on me while I'm being a cop. That just wouldn't make much sense. So, pretty cool that we could do that. Uh, I don't believe I have any drugs on me. Water Knight's difficult. Uh, okay, yeah, so we're good on that aspect. We don't have any narcotics or anything, which is a solid in case we get caught by the police. Uh, but yeah, so that's the house. Not too bad. So, as for vehicles, I really don't know where the vehicles save. I still believe you have to go to... God damn it. I still believe you have to go to the garages and stuff located around the city. Um, to be able to get your vehicles and all that. Um, but hopefully we can look at adding some type of, uh, garage script to this so we can have our actual, um, cars in our house, theoretically, I guess you could say. Uh, or at least have a way to spawn them. Like, maybe another marker outside of our house, which would allow you to access the garage and allow you to, to spawn your vehicles from your home. If not, you could just spawn it through your trainer. Which gives me a good idea. I should probably save this vehicle. Save. Uh, 
motorcycle. Okay, let's just get that saved, and now we'll go ahead and look around the map and see what uh, kind of locations. All these uh, little icons right here pretty much mean that you can enter en you can enter the building. Uh, you can enter the building. So we have a uh, pretty decent amount of locations actually that you can. Let's go down here. I don't know what the fuck would be down there, but it does seem like a good amount of shit that you can go into. Which now that if you just look around, you go, oh my god, there's actually a shit ton of places that you can go into. Very strange. And then properties do seep out uh, more than just Rockford Hills. So let's go ahead. We could smash down to these three locations over kind of in the industrial area. I am thirstier than a dog that's just ran seven miles. I am telling you right now. I have to get a drink once I get on a straight road here. This is where you get pulled over. We also have no plates, so that's another reason for cops to pull us over. But no big deal. We're gonna go ahead and smash it up. The cops want to chase us. Uh, <laughs> did not sound like I said cops. If the cops want to chase us, they uh, are sure can do that. I think that's an actual player in a taxi cab. There's no way that that's an actual. Oh. Oh, you done almost fucked up. That police car looks sick with the hubcaps. Holy shit. He stopped, though. He saw that I was driving jank as shit, but then decided not to pursue me for whatever reason. So props to that guy, because I don't want to deal with it. Even though I just literally said they could pursue me, but you know what they say, we're running it. I really want to see these locations, see what they have to offer, and I really don't... I really hope I don't stumble into a drug location. If I do, we've got to change another one. But at least we can process some other shit and have a day or so before people find out about it. I highly doubt it. It's probably just going to be really awesome uh, open interiors that are down here. That's dangerous, the lane split. Okay, so we got one directly to our l right over here. I've never been down to these before. This is awesome. So let's see how we're going to get back there. I believe this way. All right, and down the alleyway, and it looks like it's going to be... God, I really hope it's not anything, dude. Then again, they're on the map, but it's like, please don't. Please don't. Oh, what the fuck? That's awesome. What? What is this? What the fuck? It's like a big warehouse. That's sick. Dude, these, these, I don't understand what we'd be able to do with these, but I guess it does open up some levels of roleplay when it comes to clearing and stuff. Like, you have just buildings you can clear, you can have some shit go on in here. I wonder if you can go in here. Nope. Keeping me out. God damn it, there's something in there. And it looks like... Nope, it's not stairs. That is so strange. So strange. So at least it's not a drug place. But it's definitely cool to see all the open interiors. Uh, and just all the stuff that they've added in the new updated version of open interiors. They've definitely increased their shit, I can tell you that. Okay, let's head down. We should just be able to connect through this alleyway here. If I'm not... Nope, nope, nope. Let's go ahead and bust out on the street. Okay, and this open interior... This is gonna be... Okay, Lester's. That makes sense, and I assume that you should be able to go inside Lester's by just walking in it, so that's cool. Everyone's been in there a million and seven thousand times, so there's really no point in showing that. I thought there was one more. What? Did I miss something over here? Oh shit, I did. Awesome. That's a fucking hole in the wall. wonder what this is gonna be. Probably another type of warehouse like the other one down the street. I mean, that would be cool. People could have their own warehouses and shit. It is another warehouse. That's so weird. What the fuck? This must be, like, parts of the story mode or something that I have not played yet, because that's just super strange. So that's two pretty much warehouse interiors for anyone that has, like, I guess a job or something. That would be really intuitive to be able to go down there and, uh, you know, work out of an actual facility. You have that Gone in 60 Seconds garage. That's pretty sick. And we have what seems to be a few more down here, so let's, so let's shoot down there. It's not too far. A little less than a mile, so we might as well check out just the other two kind of in this uh, area down here. It's getting reckless. It is getting reckless. 
Nope, stick with it, stick with it. Oh my god. So yeah, for shits and giggles, we might as well check it out. Let's we should hit that left one really quick, because it seems to be the closest. Let's do that. Uh oh, this one's super cutty as well. You just don't really know it looks like a donut shop. Where you go buy a crack donut. Oh my god, they are just murdering each other dry. Another one! This one's smaller though. I really want someone in the comments to tell me what these are for. I have no idea. I could probably... Oh shit. Yeah, well there you go. I guarantee this other one down here in the industrial is going to be the same thing. I guess if we ever need locations to hide people though, dude, we got them. They are there. No doubt about that. We have so many locations to do so much shit, it's not even funny. We want to kidnap someone, take them to a location, bam, got it. So many fucking warehouses that no one would ever find these people, it would be fucking crazy. Oh shit, that'll be cool. We have to do like a, a high value escort or something like that. And we'll have to see if we can intercept the package and take them to a location. If we could take them to a location and they wouldn't know where we took them. Oh, they wouldn't even be able to know what to do. Okay, so what do we got here? This could be the steel factory area, but it looks like it's actual... Yeah, I think this is the steel thing. Oh yeah, it is. I wonder if anyone's in here. Nope. Damn. Okay, so interesting. We just came down to where you do the miner operation. And you mine for all the different types of materials and all that. But it looks like we do have a one more. Unless we already went to that one. Ooh, what is that? Oh, that's, uh... That's Lester's, isn't it? Yeah, that has to be Lester's. Okay, that's, that's Lester's actual house. They have Simeon's. Uh... That's pretty interesting. That's like another dock. You can go into the Maze Bank Arena. I have no idea what that is over there. I really don't even know where that would sit, to be honest. That's, I mean, that's a good amount of shit that you can go into. I was not expecting. And it looks like we have an open interior right next to the racetrack, which is very strange, actually. Not sure what would be there. I guess we could smash over. That's kind of in the same area, so let's... Just go over there and see what the hell is there. Can I make it out this way? Yes. It's gonna get jank. Oh my god. Might as well. Oh, oh. Okay. Check out this last location. We're gonna just smash there. That way we could possibly pick up some type of police or something. I don't know. We'll see. If not, then I mean props to us for picking the right direction that no cops are gonna be. Oh. I got a gun in my hand and I can hit. I thought I had the kick. I was going to try to kick those people on the curb, but that did not work. Wow, we'll be there really quick. We took the absolute perfect way. And probably no cops will be. So yeah, we're just going to check out this last location and we'll kind of just go and screw around and see if we can piss off some pick. What the hell is English? Jesus, piss off some cops. There we go. My God. And yeah, hopefully this week I'll be able to do a lot more uh, other videos besides just DOJ. Like DOJ along with some other videos, Project Cars, maybe a vlog or something like that. Uh, I've, I have like four or five real life videos ready to be... Oh, it's the Lost? Damn it! Sorry, Paul. Uh, I have like three or four videos ready to be edited and stuff and I have to do that. That all pertain to real life, so that'll be a plus. Um, it's just gonna take a shit show editing it all, and I'll have to see which ones actually make the final cut, and actually should be able to go out. So this is a clubhouse. I don't even think I've even been this and been in this in regular GTA before. Like holy shit! Probably every time I would try to come in here, I'd probably get shot anyways. Damn, that's crazy. Is this a loss? Yeah, it is a loss. Interesting. Nice little clubhouse I got here. We could take this over if we wanted to. Have a clubhouse of our own. A one that you can actually enter though, which is kind of cool instead of having to have everyone uh, load in the map or something like that or load in the interior. So definitely, they have updated so many interiors for this shit. It's not even funny. Like, really awesome though. You got a, what I believe is a bar there. You got a comedy club there. And all of these are places that you can go into. You got two more open interiors pretty much right next to each other. That's awesome. 
definitely need to do an exploring episode, but other than that, we are gonna go fuck around. Let's go ahead and rip this bike. I know that there's a whole bunch of cops driving around, but probably not much going on anymore after Rich stopped killing everyone, so. We'll go ahead and see what's going on. Nope, nope, no! Those usually never happen as much as they should in this game, though. I'll be honest, like, T-Bump- Damn it! Why? Why, when I say it, does it have to happen, huh? God damn it. Shake that one off. Please don't be any cops. Got to love it. Excuse me, I just got hit off my bike. That was being a jackass and speeding. If you play it cool, they won't think you fell off your bike, even though you're about to pick it up off its ass, but... Ish, whatever. There we go. Flip around. We still got both of our headlights. That's what I'm talking about. Headlight, tail light. We got brake. <laughs> High beams. Hell yeah. We'll see if we can pick up any cops going straight through Vinewood Boulevard. Straight through. Straight through. Come on. Light them up, Miss Daisy. Come on. Right through the middle. Split it up. Cut in the cheese. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No cops, though. They must not be in Vinewood right now. I think all the shit's popping off in uh, Grove Street, so we're going to hook a left. Oof, that got a little sketchy. He's going to turn left as well. Everyone's making a left today. Oh, we got a wheelie out of that. Yeah, I think Grove Street would be a little more popping. Surprisingly, we've been driving like a jackass pretty much, uh, well, good percentage of the day. And uh, we've got away with it. I don't understand how that's possible. Then again, usually as I speak something, that changes. But this time it's actually pretty solid. We're going into a territory that's definitely not Grove Street. Grove Street's here. And let's book it left. It's amazing how this one turn right here either gets you to Grove Street or it takes you onto a complete other side of the map where you pretty much get locked into. Always interesting. Okay, now we're probably gonna start seeing all the cops, but that doesn't mean shit. Might as well speed up. I police myself. Oh yeah, we're getting reckless. I'm gonna cut through the back of Grove. Or these apartments. I think everyone does this. For some odd reason. Oh, almost hit the wall. Okay, I'm gonna slow it down just a T bit. That way we don't get anything uh, pissed at us while we're going through here. Just to see if there's anyone down here. Surprisingly, there's no one. How does that make any sense? Where the fuck is everyone at? We can come and shoot uh, people's cars. Let me just see if there's anyone's cars down here that I can fucking shoot. Hopefully there's no cops in the area. That's someone on a bike that's like stuck there. Let me just make sure there's no cop in this alleyway. I think it's clear though. Yeah, you hear the sirens? Okay, now we're clear. I'm gonna hit up this parked car over here. Right, I'm gonna kill my lights. We're gonna piss all these gang members off. You ready for this shit? Okay, we just popped that car with a ton of gunshots, and I don't think anyone heard shit. Fucking bitch-ass car. Oh, shit. Owned by a bunch of, a bunch of bitches. There it is. <laughs> a bunch of bitches. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Hopefully they come back to their car and they see it's all fucked up. That car's been there since earlier when we snitched on that one motherfucker. Um... So he should come back and see that it's shot up with bullets. I wonder if I ha oh man, I don't have my- I should go get my SMG from like a gun store. Where's the closest gun store? Right here. Alright, we're gonna mob down here. I'm gonna get an automatic- automatic, because it's too difficult to shoot, uh... A single shot, it just- I can't fuck up a car as much as I want to. Uh, with a single shot, so why is there so many buses? And I haven't seen a cop for God knows how long, which is super strange. Because it was just popping down here, and then now it's quiet as shit. Okay, I'm gonna kill the light. 
Oh, we are getting dangerous. I'm gonna park up right here. Just in case a cop saw me. Just in case. You don't want to be too careful. Or you want to be careful. Damn it, you don't want to be too careful. There it is. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get this gun. I'm gonna go ahead and get a micro SMG, so that way we'll just be able to hit that shit up real quick. Okay, that just drained a whole bunch of money, but we needed it. We needed it, 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 it. You yeah, motherfucker. Alright, let's hit this shit up. I assume it's someone's car, especially because that thing has been there the whole game. Um, so yeah, let's put more bullets in that shit. Why not? Why not give them what they deserve? Talking shit. You get bullets. Da, 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 da. All right, uh, where's Grove? Where's Grove? Over here. Okay, since we have seen no cops, I feel very confident about this whole thing. Um, I'm gonna probably stay on the bike even though it pops up that stupid menu, but it's no big deal. Let's just hope we keep up our streak of, uh, no cops. We've done so good. Let's not ruin it. Okay, we're good, we're good. And if a cop does see us, we could smash on him probably to the point where he doesn't know where we're going. I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, uh, stop. Alright, you guys ready? Let's do this shit. Oh, I thought that was a ha 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 ha. It was a Winnie Izzy. Being a bit. Alright, we're pulling in. Okay, it doesn't look like the car shot up, but the car's still running, so that's how you know it's someone's car. Alright, we're killing the lights. Oh, that's an actual fucking cop, I think. It, I just saw the spotlight. I'm out, dude. I heard a, I heard an air horn, too. What was that about? Like, why? Okay, we're gonna calm down a little, because I, I don't want to seem like I'm the guy that just did that shit. But whoever's car that was got lit up with bullets. The first time, second time. I don't know if that's a real fucking helicopter, though. If it is, we're fucked. But... By the way that that light's actually moving, I don't think that's the case. Alright, we're getting really quick. Let's just go ahead and look at our Civ Locator app and see what we got going on with some people on the map. Draw route. Let's just go ahead and see what's going on. Let's just smash down, smash down to his location just to see what be a going on. Yeah, where the fuck is he? I know he's not that far. I know he's not Blaine County, it only said, uh, point .92, which is a little less than a mile, so how in the hell... Oh my god. Family is dead. Okay, let's see what's going on here. We'll book a left. I wonder if he's at, like, a location or something. Where the fuck is he? Okay, smash into the city. Of course. We're just gonna drive by him really quick and literally drive by him. Give him a drive-by. Try buy that motherfucker with a gun. Be like, Bleh. kill him if we can. I don't know if it's possible, but he's smashing too, so he's probably getting chased by the cops. That's probably where all the cops are, is uh, chasing after Rich, role playing just with Rich, because that's the type of role play that Rich likes to do. Is uh, role play that Im involves 50 cops. You know, typical. It looks like he's in a. Yep, I hear the sirens, guys. I literally hear the fucking sirens. I'm just gonna fucking help these cops out. I'm gonna help the cops out by shooting Rich, so... It is what it is. Where is he? Looks like he's driving on the left side of the lane. You fucking kidding me? He's gonna be like, who the fuck dumb me? Who the fuck show me? He's not gonna know. We're killing the lights. We're killing the lights. We're going in. Gun aimed. If we don't get killed by desync, I think this might be him. Just lit him up, boys! Damn, son! I think we got CHP in the den. CHP in the den. And I think we even might be getting chased now. We are out this bitch. I don't want autographs, so we are out. I don't know if that did anything, but that probably fucked his car up. What is he doing in a fire truck? Like, he is not a firefighter. What the fuck? Oh my god. Dead family. Dead family. You have a tail light out, your family's gonna die. The dead family road right here. Jeez, dude. I don't know what kind of shit was going on, but he was in a fire truck. The siren was going. I have no idea. 
Kind of backs up my theory, though. Not only did he have the cops there, he had fucking fire trucks and shit, too. <laughs> like, goddamn, everyone on the map. I have surprisingly not seen anyone. Even out here, though. What the hell is going on? That's so weird. Damn, son. We did a nice little smash, though, I gotta admit. We smashed that shit. So, yeah. Pretty much checking out the hotel. We snitched on someone today. Uh, kind of a quick episode that I could create for you guys uh, before we get in there with bugs tomorrow or today, technically, however you look at it, Monday, um, and start getting back to normal schedule. So yeah, it's been an interesting week doing single players, but uh, it's been fun, and I've enjoyed getting in here with you guys, uh, just me and you. It's always fun, like I said. Um, but it'll be nice to have Bugs back and be able to, you know, do videos with him and make things a whole lot easier and we'll continue to do a whole bunch of awesome new stuff. Um, so again, thank you guys for being with me over the whole week. And there you go. Server connection time the fuck out. So I guess that literally couldn't have been any perfect. I was going to keep going until I got back to the Casa de la Casa Polcat, but, uh, <laughs> clearly not. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for coming out and joining me on this video. and We will see you next episode.